The following video and continued growth of this channel are made possible by your support over on patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. Sign up today at any level you choose and help bring these brand new projects to life. Or if you're looking for a brand new t-shirt, maybe stop by prowrestlingtees.com slash 616 entertainment. I got you covered. What's up, Dan Dans? My name is Ian. Welcome to Mortal Kombat Monday for, well, it just went straight into a demo. Uh, I, I didn't click start yet. For the first time ever here on the channel, we are going to play Mortal Kombat 2 on the Game Boy. And this is indeed an actual copy of Mortal Kombat 1 plus 2 on the Game Boy. I am using the Super Game Boy and the Super Nintendo that longtime Dan Dan, Mr. Beef, sent my way. And uh, this is really cool. Now, I want to be Reptile, and I think this is Reptile. <laughs> I think that's Reptile, right? Now, immediately, we can see that... Yes, I did pick Reptile, and I'm facing Reptile. We can see that this looks way better than Mortal Kombat... Oh, shit! ...than Mortal Kombat 1 did on the Game Boy. And, oh my goodness, it plays way better, too. You guys got in the comments, spit that acid, wah! Big jump kick. You guys got in my comments and told me that Mortal Kombat 2 is way better on Game Boy. That yeah, the first one sucks, but play the second one. And I was like, I will, we'll get there, all in due time. And here we are, and holy shit, this is, I can't believe how much better this is. Check this out. We're gonna kick him, and then we're gonna do Oh, I did it! I nailed it first try! Reptile wins. Fatality. Oh, dude. Man, I don't know how I never knew that this is so good. And I'm not even exaggerating. Like, it feels... Maybe it's because I'm coming from playing uh, the first one. And that was extremely bad. It was terrible. So playing this and it's actually competent is very cool. Back, back, punch, and kick is how we do the force ball. I gotta figure out how to do that. Okay, where's kick? That's kick. So, back, back, punch. Yeah, dude! Into the uppercut! Oh, man, this is this is a good day. We might actually be able to beat... Aw, oh, shit. There it is! We might actually be able to beat this, and I might be getting way ahead of my skis. Oh, I got a double flawless and a fatality? How about that? I'm just feeling good, man. We're flying. It's time for Katana. And, well, she headed me off immediately. Oh, no! This could be a problem. Oh, man, she did not like the fact that I was already talking about beating this. What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Katana. Oh, no! Don't do it! Oh shit, belly to belly suplex, overhead throw. I would love to get suplexed by Katana, what? Um... <laughs> oh man, she's taking me to Suplex City. Sweep ski, sweep ski, back up, force ball, up! Oh, okay, how did that not land? How? Tell me how. Someone give me a good goddamn reason why that didn't land. Here we go, force ball, and that, see, now that, I wasn't there for it. So that makes sense. Acid, no, she's not there. Sweep kick. Oh, no, she gonna get me. What? No! <laughs> God damn it. Is she gonna do it? Oh, I thought we were going down into the pit. Dan Dance, I'm having a great time with this. Get out of here, which it continues. Reptile was not killed. He was beaten, but he was not killed. So we're gonna go at this again. It's Reptile versus Katana 2. Oh man, I did the I did the 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 slide. I don't even know how I did it. Dan Dance, I've been having a great time with a game called Dredge. If you've never played it, if you've never heard of it, <laughs> it's like it's almost weird to pitch it first. It's like, well, what is it? Oh, well, it's it's like a fishing game. Really? Yeah, not really. I mean, you f fuck. God damn it. I'm talking about goddamn Dredge. Dredge is a game where you are a fisherman. And your boat washes a- tell me how that didn't land. Your boat washes ashore 
on a, on a mysterious island and the people there are like, hey, your boat is fucked. We can't fix it, but you can take one of ours. And if you go out and fish, you can pay us back. No big deal. Um, and then as you go out and you are fishing, you start catching some weird fish. Fish that look haunted or like something is wrong with them. And then as the game goes on, you find out more and more there's some weird stuff going on in this like island area. And we have to figure out why. We have to figure out why none of the fishermen who, uh... Oh shit! None of the fishermen who like work on this island ever come back. Oh, I thought I got her! No, I thought I got her! And dude, Dredge is just awesome. Dredge is really, really cool. And I recommend everybody check it out. We are gonna switch to Liu Kang. We took two losses in a row as Reptile, even though he wasn't dead, he's not off the table entirely. I do shit. I do shit sometimes, not that that's any of your business. <laughs> uh, I do want to get a look at some other shit. <laughs> the timing. Hoot. We're gonna hit it with a bicycle kick, assuming the buttons are the same. You ready? We're gonna test this. Three, two, one. Hoot. Yeah, they're the same. Although I don't, okay, fantastic. For whatever reason, the damage didn't stick until uh, until the move was done. What? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, man, that was goofy. I don't know how she pulled that off. Flying deal, flying deal. Here we go, flying deals everywhere. Big uppercut ski. Shit, no. Fireball! Fireball! Uh... Yes! Nailed it! Perfect! Now that's cool! That's a variation of that fatality I've never seen. Normally when Liu Kang turns into the dragon, everybody knows, he bites you in half. Now there... Ooh, perfect timing on that counter there. By me. Normally I don't get to say that. Uh, but there, Liu Kang turns into the dragon, he spits some fire. That was awesome. Get away from me. Get away from me, phony Liu Kang. Get, get out of here. Gotcha. You know what I think we should probably do, and I don't know if we're going to have time, is I would kind of like to play with some of the, uh, the other color filters, you know? Being that this is a legit Super Game Boy, we could see what uh, different versions of this look like instead of just the orange motif. Although I do like orange, and I think orange is an, is an underrated color. Shit ass! Hoot! You're not stealing this round. Oh. Gotcha! No! I thought that... Come on, dude! I thought I had him! Alright, alright, alright. Let's focus. Hoot! Hoot! Shit! Got him again. Fireball. Jumping fireball. Nobody home. Oh yeah, big old punches, big old punches, boy! Walk into these punches! Oh shit! Now what I want to know is, what is everybody playing? I ask you this all the time, because I always like reading through them. Who's playing Starfield? Who- fuck. Who's playing Baldur's Gate? A lot of great- oh! A lot of great games coming out this year. Uh, back four down on kick? Ah shit! Down four, babe. Ah, fuck, I forgot how to do it. <laughs> All right, can I pause? Is there a way to pause? Let's find out. Uh, okay, start. Yes, there we go. No! Here we go, let's play with some colors. All right. That's not bad. That's hard on the eyes. So far, we like B, right? These are a little goofy. That's like actual Game Boy right there. <laughs> I'm still into 1B so far. Nice, dude. The monochrome is pretty sick. You know what? These are these are just the the color palettes that um that that's probably closer to actual Game Boy that like Mortal Kombat 11 had. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Do we want F, G, F? H? No, we don't want it. That's... Okay, I'm gonna stop saying it. That's what the Game Boy really looks like. I think we're gonna go... That's what I liked? I don't like that anymore. Maybe I do. I don't know. Let's check it out. 
Oh shit! How do I get rid of this menu? Oh fuck, alright. Does this look better? I feel like maybe it does. Well, we're we're not god damn it. We're not gonna win this round. Cause I was fucking around for half of it. <laughs> Man, remember when I was flying and I was like, man, I, th I think we can beat this. The, uh, the, shit. The difficulty has spiked, to say the least. Dan Dan's, if you did not watch it and you are watching this, I just released on last, it was last Thursday, I released the History of UFC Video Games Part 3. Well, the color just changed. I didn't do that. Do they only last a certain amount of time? The History of UFC Video Games Part 3, The Undisputed Era. Pulled that round out of my ass. And I'm very proud of it. I think it's one of my better in-depth retrospectives. I would say it's the best uh, UFC part so far. We still have Part 4 and Part 5 to go. I purposely timed the release to coincide with the reveal of UFC 5. And the UFC... Shit. The UFC did try to fuck on me, though. Got him! Okay, how do we do it? Uh, down four, back, back, kick. Yes, we nailed it! The UFC did try to fuck on me. They initially said that it was gonna be September 9th was gonna be the reveal of UFC 5. And then September 6th rolls around and they're like, hey, who's ready for the trailer tomorrow? And I was like, what the fuck? So I basically spent, I would say, 14 hours on September 6th uh, crunching the entire, I would say the entire final 75% of that video to get it done and to get it out to try and capitalize uh, on that spike, you know, for the algorithm. And sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. At this juncture, I don't know if it did because at the time that you are listening to this or watching this, dude, I just ran through Melina. At the time that you're watching this, I just put it out uh, this morning. So, I'm hoping that it really catches fire, and I'm hoping that it goes out to a wide audience, because I really love that video, and I want to give another shout-out to the one and only Handy Dandy Andy Jarek, the rough and tumble bad boy who never takes no for an answer, always plays by his own rules. And uh, the reason I want to give a shout-out to Andy is because I bought a copy of UFC Undisputed 3, a PlayStation 3 copy, because that's what I, the console that I own, and that's what I've covered everything else on. And, uh, the copy does not work. The pizza shit, dog shit motherfucker on eBay who sold it, uh, as tested working was a, a, a motherfucking liar. And so my copy didn't work. And we live in an era now where you cannot find PS3 games anymore. You just can't find them. So, hold on. What is it? Um, uh, uh, down floor, back, back, kick? Yeah! <laughs> We're flying now, man. We're flying again. You can't find PlayStation 3 games anymore. I called Half Price Books. Uh, I even called The Exchange in Chicago. I called uh, Back in the Game, which is a, you know, really overpriced kind of dog shit place, but they're local, so I gave them a shot. Half Price Books, to their credit, had a copy at one of their Texas locations, and the guy was like, I can have it sent here. And I was just like, oh, I'm kind of in a rush. If, if that's all I can do, I'll give you a call back. Um, but, oh, oh, no! Shit! I reached out to a couple, fuck, I hit the microphone stand, tripod. I reached out to a couple friends, and I was like, hey, do you own a PS3 copy of Undisputed 3? Do you have any friends who do? And I got a bunch of no's. But it was, it was worth checking, you know? Handy dandy Andy Jarek message me, messages me back and he's like I mean you could borrow my my 360 and my 360 copy and I'm thinking like I don't want to have to do that because first of all I would feel like I'm, I'm putting Andy out god damn it that's our first loss in a while oh into the spikes in the ceiling that's fantastic I would feel like I'm putting Andy out which I'm not Andy's you know Andy's the fucking man get out of here with your five Liu Kang is dead. Back to Reptile. <laughs> but uh, I had I had no other option. And at the end of the day, Andy fucking came through in the clutch, really made the video possible because I was boned without that. Tell me how that didn't land. I was boned without it, and I would not have been able to 
make the uh, the deadline that you know, that I had set for myself. But uh, shout out to Handy Dandy Andy Jarek, one of a kind. All right, I'm gonna try. No, I'm gonna try and be a little smarter. God damn it. Let's see. Yep, third time's the charm. I'm in the middle of saying I'm gonna try and be a little smarter, and then I get countered on three uppercuts. That is the epitome of being a fucking idiot. Yeah, dude! Took that round. Shang Tsung is out of here, mister! Name that film. What did I just reference? You know what I want? You know what I want? I want this. Okay, I tried to throw the uppercut earlier because they've been missing, and that didn't... Man. Oh... Well... He didn't kill Reptile, so we're going again. <laughs> we're gonna give that another go. Get out of here! I believe in green. I believe in Reptile. And I think that we can take out this old man who is posing as a young man. I don't like that. Shit! Shit! Oh no, he doubled up on the deals. Oh, this is bad. This is ninja on ninja crime. Oh no! Huh. So, well, that didn't work. That didn't work. See, old man on ninja crime is one thing. Ninja on old man crime. Ninja on female ninja crime. These are all good. But we cannot have war between the Palatois boys! We gotta keep them together. Oh no. Oh, he's deceptively fast for an old small man. Huh. Acid. For no, slide. Tell me how he blocked the slide. Go ahead, tell me. Go ahead. I need to know. I need some. Mm. Oh, this is gone. There it goes. Son of a bitch. I know we can do it. Get out of here. Look how close, Reptile. Look how close we keep getting. We can do this. Now, I did not get a look at the tower at the beginning. Well, I mean, I did, but I don't remember what it looked like. I don't remember if Kintaro is on it. Or are we going from Shang Tsung straight to Shao Kahn? Shit! Get over here! Why am I doing the voice when he hit me with it? I shouldn't be excited about that. Oh man, he's cheesing that motherfucking sweep. Oh, the colors changed. Oh, uh, okay, I see what it is. If, when I press the face buttons at the same time, I can change the colors. Why is that a thing? Don't be distracting me with that bullshit. Okay, the uppercut trick worked once. The force ball into the uppercut worked exactly one time and it has refused to work since. Oh my god. Oh, he took my soul! He took my soul! <laughs> well, shit, Liu Kang and Reptile are dead. I think maybe we'll bring Scorpion into it, right? Scorpion enters the fray. Hut! Get out of here. How did I bump off that? Oh, yeah. Man, if I can get her to. Uh. Oh, no! Okay, now I realize that just the X button can switch the color too. Man. I'm I'm getting distracted here. I was doing well. Everything was going shit. Everything was going according to plan, now everything's going to shit. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> oh no, I can't run the timeout because he'll win. How do I get out of this predicament? <laughs> The second I tried to jump away, I pressed up and back, and it just, he automatically went into an uppercut. These input reading sons of bitches. Gotcha, bitch! Boom! Big punches, big punches! No, no, no! None of that! Hoot! Gotcha again. Boom! Jump, kick! That's the round. Suck him! Hulk Hogan! We're coming for you, never mind. Scorpion is 
Oh, tell me how that uppercut missed. Show me. Go back and show me. I need proof. And that spear, too, man. They are fucking on me huge. Trash. I proclaimed trash. Come here. Gotcha. Boom. Dude, I'm doing it. I was doing that correctly. I know how to do Scorpion's Fatality, damn it to hell. Hold on. There is no Kentaro, it's Shao Kahn. Hold on, pause. Did I not do that right? Oh, I didn't. It's up, up, punch. Well, now you know. <laughs> Can Shao Kahn get speared? I don't know if he can. Oh, fuck. He can certainly spear me. Oh, no. I don't like how he's hanging back like that. He's got a plan. <laughs> God damn it. Who's surprised we made it this far? I gotta be honest, I am. This is not extremely easy, but it's also not nearly as hard as the other ports of this game, you know? As you can see, because I beat it last season, I beat Mortal Kombat 2, and it took me over three hours. I cut the- Oh no! That's a game over! How do you like that? Well, Dan Dance, this is fun! Mortal Kombat 2 on the Game Boy, this is a blast. If you guys want to see more of this, if you want me to play it again, let me know. I can do it again. Until then, I love ya, and I'll see you next week.